So a childhood friend of mine, her dad worked for ABC, and he would have all of these shiny Emmy Awards. And I just thought, you know, what does this guy do? Finally, he said, you know, why don't you girls come to work with me one day? And so I was like hooked. I thought, this is so cool. He gets to come in here and create magic every day. So my senior year at Hofstra, you have to take an internship to graduate. So I got an internship at WLNY TV 55, and eventually it turned into a job. And within a few months, I was trained to be a backup producer. And so there I was, 20 years old, telling reporters what stories to go out on. It was really exciting. And I remember thinking, do they know how old I am? And I just went in, and I did what I needed to do. I was hooked on the news business. On September 11th, 2001, we had to figure out how are we going to tell the, the public what's going on. We don't even understand it ourselves. And then I knew right then and there, while I was there in that control room, that I wanted to be part of this world. I wanted to be part of the public service to tell people what was happening in their world, good or bad. While I was at PIX, I got to cover the war in Iraq, President Bush's reelection, President Reagan's funeral, and our news team also produced a show in 2005 called Flooded Out. And that is the show that won us an Emmy Award. And winning that award was so full circle for me. So I left, I got another job, and that job was not in news. It was at a lifestyle production company basically advertising. I ended up leaving that job too. I thought like, what, what's going on? I was doing so great in my career and now I feel like a failure. Luckily, I had kept in contact with an old friend from WPIX from my PIX days. And she called me up and said, hey, I just got a job at Fox News Channel as a health producer and they need somebody else. Do you know anybody? And I was like, do I know anybody? I was like, I'm it. I was like, please. And I got the job that week and I'm the senior producer of that crew. So about five years ago, I was at, you know, at my job. So I walk in and I just stopped dead in my tracks. Remember my friend's dad, the one who worked at ABC all those years ago? Well, after 34 years at ABC, he left. And guess where he went? To Fox News Channel. It was a powerful moment for me and such an honor to really be able to work alongside my mentor. Just because you don't hit it out of the park with the first job or the fourth job or the 14th job, that doesn't mean it's not possible. I believed that I would eventually find a job that I loved. And I hope this conference and the contacts that you meet today will give you a glimpse at who you want to become. Good luck and thank you.